Hi, this is Mr. McGovern, and this is the sixth video in the Intro to Wave series where I'm going to look at an NCA problem about the Doppler effect. Uh, this is just a simple problem, it's from 2014. Um, I, I might do a video after this one on a more complex Doppler effect problem. So here there is a boat travelling towards this tourist. Uh, it's going at 5.5 metres a second. It has a horn, frequency of 95 hertz. Here with the speed of sound, 3.5 by 10 to the 2, it means 350 metres a second. The reason they write it like that is to show that they are sure of that value to three significant figures. All of the numbers I've given you, 5.50, 95.0 and 3.50, are clearly to three significant figures. So that's what our answer should be as well. So calculate the theory, uh, sorry, calculate the frequency of the note that the tourist hears. Always with Doppler effect formulas, I draw myself a little sketch to remind myself that uh, in front of the moving object, the um, wave fronts are bunched together. We get a higher frequency, and behind we get a lower frequency. So in this case, um, the boat's moving towards the tourist. We're going to get a higher frequency, so that when I use my formula here, I know that my observed frequency, which is F dash, should be larger than F. And the only way I get that is with my fraction there, I have a number on the bottom that's small. And the only way I get a small is with a minus. So in this case, because the ferry is moving towards them, I'm going to use the minus. Um, pretty straightforward now. I put my values in. So my original frequency is 95. 350 is the velocity of the wave. And velocity of the source is 5.5. Do the calculation, and we get a larger frequency than 95, which is 96.5 hertz. All right. That was a simple calculation. Now they just want to explain. Can you explain the Doppler effect effectively? What did they say? Explain why the sound of the horn heard by the tourist does not have the same pitch as the sound emitted by the horn. So again, I just like to draw this diagram because in the end, I'm just describing what I see in this diagram. That's my answer. It's just describing what's going on. So let's do this here. So the boat moves forward, and what it does is it emits um, waves, and each new wave peak is emitted from a position closer to that observer as it's moving forward than the peak of the previous wave. Right? As it's moving forward, it emits another one, it moves forward, it emits another one, and these ones are getting closer and closer and closer to the person, and so the waves in front of it are bunched. Um, and because they're bunched, they have a smaller wavelength, a smaller gap between crests or peaks, and a smaller wavelength is a higher frequency that the observer hears. So that's my explanation. Um, Pretty much every single year they ask you to explain the Doppler effect, so you should have something like this in your toolkit ready to go. And that's the problem. So next video I'll do a, a, a more difficult one.